This is a video from Cider Lovers of Edmonton. Find us on Facebook. One year, I collected over 600 pounds of apples within a four block radius from my house. I got an, a ladder. I started climbing that ladder, collecting the apples with my wife and with my daughter. And then we got tons and tons of apples. And we could often go back and find the place with the best houses and go back there again year over year. Mix them together because some are good, better for cider than others. And usually a mix is much better than doing them separately on their own. We added a garbage disposal or garburator to the bottom of a sink. And we wired it up. That was really easy to do. I found a friend that's really good with do-it-yourself type projects. And that's what we could do. We could put pieces of the apple through and out into a five-gallon bucket. And it would do about 100 pounds in about an hour. And that'll get you one carboy full of apples. Or apple juice, rather. Then we put the cider mixture into these mesh bags and spin it out in an old washing machine, putting on spin cycle. Uh, we've cleaned out the washing machine before that. Um, what it does is it allows you to put the liquid directly into the carboy nice and easily. Eventually, we started moving on and using uh, a cider press. And uh, a cider press is more efficient, but it takes a little bit longer. Uh, if you have a lot of free apples, it's probably good to do the uh, washing machine, but otherwise you probably want to do the press. Here you're seeing expired pumice, and this has all had all of the liquid e expressed from it, or at least as much as we could get from the washing machine or the press. And this is what it looks like. Once you have juice, you need to add pectinase to reduce the pectin enzymes, and then you need to add uh, yeast to make cider and then uh, eventually you'll find you have lots of cider and you need to bottle it so there you are then you can try it and start experimenting with tastes for instance I found that I could add hops to my cider and make it taste a lot better if it was just a so-so cider some of the ciders we created had an almost wine-like quality with, that were actually excellent fresh eating before you know it, you'll be going to your local beer and wine store and trying other ciders and your own product will be very comparable and sometimes a lot better. Thank you very much for watching.